Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blair and today's video is actually the first video in a new series I'm starting here on my channel. I'm calling this series If I Could Only Choose Five. So if I could only choose five products from each makeup category, those are the ones I'm going to be sharing with you. Today's video is bronzers, so if I could only choose five bronzers, high-end and drugstore, these are the five I would pick to always, always have in my collection. I hope you guys enjoy this video and this new series that I'm going to have here on my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. I do want to start this video by saying this was not easy for me to pick only five bronzers. In fact, I redid my list probably five or six times because I tried to really think about everything when picking my five. The price, the formula, the color range. I tried to consider everything and really get a good mix of choices in these five, but it was not easy. So. For number one, this is actually the newest one in my collection, and I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I should include this, mainly for the price, but I've been using it so much that I just felt like this had to be in the top five, and it's the new Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is a pricey product. It's $50, and yes, I know that is very expensive, but I have been using this non-stop since I got it. This on my skin tone is the most gorgeous, warm, but naturally bronzed bronzer. And it's a cream, but then when you put it on your skin, it almost looks more like a powder. Like not in a bad way, it just, it dries down to more of a powdery looking finish, but yet it's a cream. I don't know. I love it though. I know there are a lot of people upset that they reformulated this product. I never tried the original Chanel, Tan Day Chanel bronzer, I guess that was the name. I never tried it, so I can't compare the two. And I know that a lot of people are not happy they added coconut oil to this. I am not someone that has a sensitivity to coconut oil. I am also not acne prone. So that's probably why it does not bother me, but for your reference, they did add coconut oil to this product, and I also know some people have had issues with it picking up their foundation underneath. I have not had either one of those issues. I don't know. I guess maybe this just happens to work really well with my skin type. I don't know, but I do know that I love it. It brings me a lot of joy just to look at this package. I actually usually keep this out on my vanity just because it's too pretty to put away in the drawer. I just have to leave this out. And I will also say when I ordered this bronzer, I ordered it from Chanel and it came, it's the only thing I ordered and it came in the most beautiful Chanel box. In fact, I kept the box because it was so pretty. I mean, it looked like it was like a handbag or something. That's how it was packaged. It was so nice. It had a ton of samples in it. I just, I don't know. I really appreciated the packaging. Even though it was just makeup that I ordered, it was really presented really beautifully. So that I really appreciate. Another thing I will say, I do wish so badly they would make a darker shade of this bronzer because if you are darker than a light medium skin tone, unfortunately this is not going to show up on you. It's a very light bronze. So on my skin tone it works beautifully, but if you are darker than me, like a good bit darker than me, it's not going to show up on you. So I hope and pray that they will bring out a darker shade or darker shades in the future because for me this is 10 out of 10 a product I will continue to repurchase when I run out and I have been loving it. My next choice will not be a surprise if you watch my videos consistently. I use this product in videos all the time and it's the Milani Silky Matte 
bronzer. I have two of them. I have number one and number two. This comes in three shades. So I have the fair shade and the medium shade. Fair here and medium here. To be really honest, I don't see a huge difference between the two on my face. I will say that the medium shade is slightly cooler in tone, in my opinion, than the number one shade, but they're very similar. It's not a substantial difference. And I actually have had number one for quite a while now, and I still have not hit pan on this, and I'm really surprised because I use this all the time and I've been using number two in the summer since I'm a little bit darker you just cannot beat this if you are someone that likes a matte bronzer look no further for your drugstore bronzer I'm telling you this is it I love 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 this these do also have a little bit of a scent they kind of smell coconutty I think they actually say on the back yeah they say they have a tropical coconut scent, and they definitely do. It's uh, not anything really overpowering, but it's a nice scent if you like the smell of coconuts. These are so good. They are around $8.99 to $9.99, depending on where you buy it. You can't go wrong with this. It is truly, like the name says, silky and matte. It is a silky matte bronzer, and the the colors of these, even the deep shade, it would be too dark for me, but just looking at it, it is a beautiful shade. You're not going to ever look too warm or too cool with these bronzers. They are very natural and pretty neutral in tone. I can't recommend these enough. I adore them. They have no shimmer, so if you're not into shimmery bronzers and you're looking for something new that's affordable, try these from Milani. Number three, I knew I had to include in my top five because this not only is one of my favorite bronzers, but it is also the first bronzer I ever used. I think I've mentioned this in a video a while back, but my first ever bronzer I ever used or purchased was NARS Laguna. And I Still to this day, love this bronzer. I've been using this literally for years. I have repurchased this multiple times. In fact, this is the only bronzer I'm pretty sure that I own that I've repurchased multiple times. It's the NARS. I know they have reformulated these recently in the past few months, and I have not tried the reformulated version. I also think they extended the shade range. It used to be, I think they only had two shades, Laguna and Casino, I want to say. But now I want to say there's like five shades or something. I really want to try the new ones, uh, so I definitely will when I run out of this one. But this is a gorgeous bronzer. This is the perfect neutral bronze. I love it so, so much. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on my hand. It's just very, it does give you a little bit of a luminous look to your face. It's nothing glittery at all, but it does have a little bit of a sheen. It's not a super matte bronzer. I love it though. I absolutely adore this. It is a little bit pricey. It's $38. I did also used to, years ago, when I first got that bronzer, I thought it was so cool that I had a NARS bronzer, and I would use that for eyeshadow every day. That's pretty much all I would ever put on my eyes. I would just throw a little bit of NARS Laguna in the crease and throw on some mascara, and that was it. And I still do that sometimes. I do that with my other bronzers as well. But this is one of those products that will always be in my makeup collection. It's just one of my favorites. You can't go wrong with it. It's just really easy to grab it. It goes with everything. I can wear it year-round. I can wear this in the winter and the summer and it's not too dark or too light for me. It works really well. I would definitely recommend these from NARS if you're looking for a new high-end bronzer. I love that one so much. 
Moving on to number four. Again, if you watch my videos, this probably won't be a surprise to you. And I love the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers. This is the shade Nude Bronze Light. This is the one I'm using currently. This is actually the lightest shade of the bronzers, I believe. Honestly, Hourglass Powders, I've said it over and over, but they are not like anything else. You cannot go wrong with these. They're formulated so finely that they do not look like powder, but they are. If you're not familiar with the Hourglass bronzers, they are actually kind of marbled in with the Hourglass finishing powders, and each bronzer is unique. I would say like they all of them are slightly different in terms of how much of the bronze color is in it and how much of the finishing powder or the strobe powder is in it so they all do look a little bit different um, you're gonna get the same look but they are slightly different depending on the amount of the bronze shade I also have a mini luminous bronze light this is I believe the one for more light to medium skin tones, uh, you can see, so hold them up for you. So this is Nude Bronze Light and this is Luminous Light Bronze Light. So you can see this one is a good bit lighter than this one. I love them both. This Nude Bronze Light I can also wear year round. It's definitely a little bit on the lighter side in the winter time, but I can get away with it. Honestly, sometimes I mix these two and I put a little bit of both on if I feel like the Nude Bronze Light is a little too light, but I love these. If you are someone that wants a bronze kind of coloring to your face, but you don't want anything super intense or harsh looking, you want something very soft and diffused, I would 10 out of 10 recommend the Hourglass bronzers, any of the Hourglass powders. The blushes are also beautiful. I have several of those. The finishing powders, I love. You just can't go wrong with these. They are definitely on the pricey side. They're $48 for the full size bronzer and I believe the minis are 24 I will put the price up on the screen because I can't remember but the full size is definitely your best value I know they're expensive but they do last a long time so it's not like you're gonna have to repurchase it all the time I think they are so worth it I would wait for the next Sephora sale or for Hourglass to do a sale I think they did their friends and family not that long ago but that's typically when I buy Hourglass powders because they are pricey and if you can get them at a discount then definitely do that I swatched them both so you can see I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that much but this is nude bronze light and this is luminous bronze light so there's not a huge difference luminous bronze is definitely a little bit darker but they are both really beautiful and then I believe the one for medium to deep skin tones is called radiant bronze light I want to say it's also very beautiful you just cannot go wrong with these from hourglass if you've been on the fence and you can't decide if you want to splurge on it or not my opinion is they are 100% worth the splurge. And number five is actually another drugstore bronzer and most of you probably won't be surprised to see this in this video. It makes appearances on YouTube all the time and it's Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I kind of was hesitant to include this one just because I feel like everybody talks about it but I feel like it's, the hype has died down a little bit with this product but it's a beautiful bronzer. It really is. I have two of these as well. I have the original bronzer shade and I have light bronze. Hold them both up for you. Again, I don't notice on my skin a huge difference between light bronze and bronze. Honestly, if I were choosing, I would just get the regular bronze. Um, so here we have light bronze and the regular bronzer color. You can definitely tell this is lighter. Again, very similar to the Milani bronzers. I don't think there's a huge, huge difference between 
the light and the more medium shade. These do have that iconic coconut smell. These are a little bit stronger smelling than the Milani ones, but the, the scent is very similar. I personally love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I do love it. I also love that now they've come out with more shades of the Butter Bronzer. I believe when it first came out, there was only the original bronzer shade, and now they have light bronze. They have, I want to say, two or three deeper shades now, and they all have different names. I only have these two, but I am happy to see that they've expanded the shade range because bronzers are not one size fits all. They, it's going to depend on your skin tone, your, the severity of bronze that you like. Do you like matte? Do you like shimmer? Do you like cream? Do you like powder? They are very individual. It's based on individual tastes. So I'm glad that they have expanded their shade range. These typically retail for around, I want to say, 12 or 13 dollars maybe a little bit less or more depending on where you get them you can usually find them on some kind of sale the one thing i do wish they would change is the packaging i don't mind the way it looks it's just so bulky it's very hard to store these in my ikea alex drawers because they're so fat and bulky you just can't stack them very easily they don't fit in little powder compartments either because they're so thick. So I do wish they would change the packaging. I definitely prefer the Milani packaging of the two, but I love both of those bronzers and I will always, always have them in my collection. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you think of this video series idea. I just thought it would be fun to start incorporating some shorter, just quick informational kind of videos sharing some of my favorite items from each makeup category. So I hope you guys like that idea. Let me know in the comments which makeup category I should film next. Make sure to subscribe before you leave today if you haven't already. I post my new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Also, make sure you are following me over on Instagram at the same username, simply.blair. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.